I am proud of our history. I am proud of our grandparents' stableness and bravery during the blockade of Leningrad in 1941-1944. I am proud very much that our country occupies certain stratum in the world culture. This is the music like Tchaikovsky, Mussorgsky, Glinka. This is the poetry like Fyodor Dostoevsky, Alexander Pushkin, Tolstoy, our traditions, I mean folk songs, dances, great Russian language, openness of the Russian soul. I am very proud of Yuri Gagarin, who was the first man flying in space. I am proud of St. Petersburg city, because polite and cultural people live there, beauty of Russian women. People I'm surrounded by, for example, Igor, he's a really positive and cheerful person. Everyone can love with him or discuss different themes. Natural resources. We have minerals, black gold, I mean oil, diamonds, silver, gold. I love it so much. Russian people are very hospitable and always happy to have guests in their houses. Hospitality, table full, curiosity. He is always ready to know something new. The distinctive feature of Russian person is his cheerfulness. Cheerful, jolly. Russian person is very brave. He has no limit. He is risky and sometimes he is too crazy. He is refined, inventiveness, sincerity, and one more thing, Russian people work a lot. In Russia we have a notion about breadth of the Russian soul. When a person has some troubles, he can always get help, support, or advice from his relative, friend, or from person who cares about his life situation. The most incredible myth about Russia that I've heard is that guys go to school wearing kakoshnik. This is ridiculous. If I see someone sitting at a school desk near me in kakoshnik, I will take video of the person and put it in YouTube. This is really very, very funny. The most incredible myth about our country that I've heard is that in the Red Square bears are walking. What is it about? How is it possible? We can sit in a circus, that's all about it. The most incredible myth about Russia that I've ever heard is that in most in Russian territory the polar night extends and just bear with balalaika violets the universal silence. But this is not truth. I think that the most incredible myth is that Russians are very lazy. Actually, that's not so. In each country every person is individual, you know. People are different, there are active and lazy persons. And our country is not an exception. When I was in the United States, I was often asked if I really wear traditional costumes or kakoshnik every day. Just look at me, I wear the same clothes as you. Matryoshka, felt boot, ear flat fur head and maybe blini. This is Kremlin Tower, meat dumplings, blini meat dumplings, borscht, Russian salads, samovar. My grandparents still drink tea from it, birch, rye, beauty fields, and of course white nights. Bath shoe, Russian baths, izba, vodka at last, Russian kvass and soup, feast, traditional Russian costumes, borscht, meat dumplings, samovar. A lot of Russian traditions are linked with such beverage as vodka. And yet, I am proud that in our country was invented automobile called Yomobil. I am in shock. Vladimir Vysotsky, to my mind, the most famous writer, singer, actor. For me, the most famous person is Mikhail Lomonosov, the star of Russian belly Maya Plisetskaya. Her dance beauty and singularity striked all the world. Anna Netrebko, Dima Bilan, Anastasia Volochkova, 
Юкубович, Тимати, Тимати. Но из МС Маша Малиновская. Федор Емельяненко. This is our fighter who won mixed fight world championship for many times. Андрей Шавин. We just can't count them. We have so many famous people, so much.